Would you like to know how to create your own webinar for pretty much for free for simply using WordPress and YouTube? I also use Elementor Pro to make it look pretty, but it only needs pretty much two codes that you're going to embed onto your website and you can create your own webinar. So let's get started on that. Hi, my name is Nicole Riley and I'm the creator of Learn To Go Live. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell so the next time I publish a new video, you get notified. So in order to create your own webinar, you're going to need a few things. The first thing is you're going to need an unlisted but scheduled YouTube live. That's the first thing. And then you need to grab two codes and I'm going to show you both codes very easily. You can, you know, pause the video in that specific moment where you can see me do it and then copy it over and then create your own version. I also use WordPress and Elemental Pro, which I highly recommend using for the specific purpose. Uh, I also use it on a page so it doesn't show up on my front page. You know, when you go to your own website and you have your blog post uh, all shown in the front, uh, when you use a page from WordPress, it doesn't show up. So let me show you step-by-step step on how I did it and how it's going to look like. So here you can see I created my webinar. Now this is the screen that you will see when you use Elementor Pro, although you can use it with Elementor too. I do wanna make sure that you remember if you have WordFans, there is going to be one little step you're going to have to do to make sure that everything works smoothly, okay? So here we go. So you have the pretty much the video embedded, which most people know how to do. So again, let's start with number one. You're gonna to have to create your unlisted YouTube live video first. That is scheduled, unlisted plus scheduled. You got it? I use Ecamm for that to make it very smoothly and very easily create a good thumbnail for it and you're good to go, all right? So once you do so, and I have here literally, I. I have a stream that is offline that I started at some point in the past. It looks like around last year. Um, I don't know when I started this, but the point is I like that I have it now because it's like my test thing, right? I like using that stream that I started at some point, never finished, and now says live stream offline. I use that to test things out to make sure everything is smoothly before I actually schedule the official webinar. It is for me to test things out, right? So here we go. I have this video, which I grabbed the link from over here. So, um, you know, you simply then go over here, say share, and embed, you're gonna grab this link right here, literally double click and copy it. And then you're going to go over here in Elementor Pro and you're simply going to embed your video, which is very easily done. It has, you know, the video tab within Elementor Pro and then you simply click on that and put the video in. You don't even need the embedded video technically. I just click the video right here, like put the entire URL in there, no HTML code and it pre-populated. So done with that part, right? Let's go back over here because now it's the important part, right? We gotta add that chat that you see down here. Now you also see it broken up, right? Like you kind of see it chopped. Well, you can change that too. So let me show you uh, first the coding. So over here, I simply added the HTML code from uh, Elementor Pro. I added that in there and then I added this entire code over here literally the code that you see there. So here's the chat, right? So what the first thing you need to do is you're going to add your domain to that entire code. So first, pause this video, write down this code, right? So you have it and can use it, then change it out right here where you can see my domain. You have to use the domain that's on your actual website where you embedding this chat to. It needs to match, YouTube is looking at that. So make sure you do the right one, right? And then of course you need to exchange this ID out. Let me remind you where you get that from. You get that from here, right? Your scheduled unlisted video, you're grabbing it from here. Then you're gonna put it right here. 
Again, this is the HTML code, so that's all you really need from Elementor Pro, and then it populates it. As you can see, you can change out the height. It comes um, as 270, technically, you know, you can make it at 400, you can make it 500, right? That is just changing the way this looks. So if I put in here 500, you can see how this is expanding down. You don't want it too, too much, right? Because um, then they have to scroll quite a bit beyond the video and they might not be able to see the video on both. Like you want it in a way that a, uh, they can watch it on their desktop as the top part being the video and underneath being the chat. It's ideal for them to do it on a desktop. Remind them it's better to, to have a webinar on a desktop so that they can really engage with the chat as well as the video at the same time, right? So if you make this too long, it might be too much scrolling for them. Just be aware of that. So again, you want to remind them to be logged into their Google or YouTube account, right? And you want to remind them that they're going to have to click on uh, the play button right here because when it's on your embedded on your website, the video doesn't start on its own. They're actually going to have to click on it and then they're going to see the countdown, right? So that's very, very important. But that's really all you need. Don't put too much on your webinar uh, page. It might get confusing. You don't want to do that, right? Um, why am I putting it even on my website rather than just using it here on YouTube? Well, people can get distracted easily, right? And they typically have videos pop up here. You can see I have, you know, TubeBuddy and VidIQ over here, but typically they would see all these videos right here and that's quite distracting, don't you think? So you don't want to have them distracted during a webinar. So having it embedded on your website is ideal for them and they can just focus on the webinar and nothing else. Be aware, I'm gonna remind you one more time, when you're done with your webinar, you don't want people to share it. Although they can still do it during the webinar, they can share it, they can share your URL from your website, and they can also share the video, right? We talked about this. If they click right here, it's gonna take them over here and they could share it. There's a share button. YouTube allows people to share, even unlisted videos. However, when you're done and you don't want them to share, all you got to do is make your video private. That means that even when they share the video, they won't be able to rewatch or watch the replay. They, they can't, just can't because a private video requires an email address in order to uh, allow them to watch it. So there you go. Problem solved, right? Keep it up as long as you want them to see it and then make the video private and you're good to go. So even if they share your domain link or their YouTube video, they can't see it after the fact. So this is how I do my webinars very easily using WordPress, Elementor Pro, Ecamm, of course, in order to schedule my live videos, right? Uh, unlisted live videos. And of course, I use the embedded part of it in order to, the embedded code in order to embed my videos from YouTube plus the chat. So that's all you need. And then you're good to go. And then you can create your own webinars. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. Please leave a comment down below and let me know if this was helpful to you. And let me know if you have any further questions. I'm happy to help you, right? Please like, comment, and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can get notifications the next time I publish a new video or go live. Don't forget to turn on the bell because that is how you get a notification. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye.